evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Walt Disney World Resort here in Florida, specifically the Fort Wilderness Campgrounds and Pioneer Hall. We are here tonight for the Hoop Dee Doo musical review, something that we have never ever done before, but have heard nothing but good things about and have always wanted to do. There's gonna be home style cooking, there's gonna be a great show, it's gonna be an all around rootin' tootin' Hoop Dee Doo in good time. We've just checked in and we've got about 30 minutes to kill before the gates open to us, so we're gonna start heading over there. I'm Tim. I'm Katie. And we do things like this. So our reservation is for the second of three shows this evening. They do a 4 p.m., a 6.15 p.m., and an 8.30 p.m., and we've got the 6.15, so other people will be exiting as we're entering, and they'll be resetting things for us. Are you ready for hoop de doo Yes. <laughs> what if you'd said no? I would have been like, we don't have much time to make alternate dinner plans. <laughs> Cancel the rest. So FYA, we do have assigned seating here tonight. It was assigned based on the purchase time. So first come, first serve when you make the reservation. I was lucky enough to get something on the floor, but there's balcony seating available as well. You can do mobile check-in through the My Disney Experience app, but you still have to stop by the podium outside to talk to a cast member and get your table number assigned to you. You're put on the spot. Oh, God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the Hoop Dee Doo! <laughs> Katie's gonna ring the dinner bell. Give me a small hint before I start. Well, I need cheers and applause, folks! All right, go ahead and ring. Come on, Woo! You did it! Let's go! <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Okay, so as we sit down at the table here, we have a couple of items already served to us, pre-served, I should say. Cornbread, whipped butter, coleslaw, which comes highly recommended by our friends Jay and Sam, the theme park foodies, and we've got our salad with, do you know what kind of dressing that is? Hoop salad. <laughs> it just says hoop, hoop salad. Hoop salad. I don't know, should I try? Katie is trying the salad out for size. Italian dressing, we were just told by our waitress, Nina. It's Decent? A, it's a basic house salad. Standard salad fixings. Yeah. What about the coleslaw? I'm going for that next. Sorry, guys. Yeah. It's a creamy coleslaw. I think it's good if you like a creamy but a little vinegary bite. Oh, vinegary. That's the first time I've heard that I associated like with coleslaw. Update. I have tried the slaw. I refute any claims that there might be vinegar in it. I do not taste vinegar. We're thinking maybe lemon juice. It does have a little bit of bite. It's good. It's better than most slaws I've had, but it is not vinegary. Giving this cornbread a shot here. It's like eating a sweet corn flavored cloud with butter. So here is the complete menu for reference. Hoop salad and house-made cornbread, creamy coleslaw, cowboy beans, crispy fried chicken, barbecue, pork ribs, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, cornbread crusted, and strawberry shortcake, which I've also heard is good. They also have Coke products for people like me. And here's the alcoholic selection. No doubt a game changer for many is that bottomless beverages are included in the ticket price, as are sales and gratuity, of course, but this is white sangria. Katie has ordered. She can have as many of these as she likes. She can have as many reds as she likes. You gotta pay attention to how much you're consuming.
so we're learning as we go a little bit here. It seems like they do a couple of sets as they bring out new food, and then they go away for a little bit so that we can have our food, and then they come back. So we might actually be able to do a little bit of talking in between sets, which is, you know, kind of better for a vlog. But the show is actually really, really good. They're excellent improv artists so far, so super excited to see this thing progress. I say super excited a lot, but I genuinely am super excited about things. Things like this mac and cheese. How are the ribs? Honestly, pretty good. I mean, it's coming off the bone. We've had a lot of southern comfort food. We have. I'm year. comparing everything to Paula Deen's right now, but which might not be fair. I don't think that's super fair because they do have to just produce for like mass produced food. Like, I'm thinking on the scale of like medieval times here. Yeah. It's but good. this is better than medieval times for sure. <laughs> so, course two here included the crispy fried chicken, the cowboy beans, the smoked barbecue ribs, the mashed potatoes, and the cornbread crusted mac and cheese. This was the smallest piece of chicken I could find in the skillet. It's like half the size of my head.
do musical review that was probably the most disneyest show i've seen in a long time this is like classic 90s era disney world this is what i remember seeing on like video cassettes advertising disney world to me and virtually nothing has changed i'm actually surprised how much improv is in that show oh it's very it's kind of like watching family friendly snl up there yeah or whose line is it anyway yeah, a little bit like it's a lot of like crowd interaction. And it's funny to be that close because you can see the characters almost break sometimes. Yeah. They're cracking each other up, so it's really funny. You can also see like struggling to come up with things as they're like reacting to the environment and to like the inputs that they're being given from the characters and whatnot. It's really, really funny. It's a great show. Highly recommend doing it at least once. You do have to book this 60 days in advance, just like any Disney dining reservation. But this one in particular, so worth it. Let's talk about the food really, really quickly. We did do kind of like a on the spot review of certain things, but we had a hard time keeping up with like the show going on on the stage and also like the food being put on the table. If you didn't see it, chances are it was nothing to write home about. The beans and the mac and cheese and all of that, those the mashed were potatoes. The of the those were fine. I, I actually really liked the mashed potatoes. Those were all fine, but they weren't like knock your socks off. The one exception to that would be the strawberry shortcake. Oh, wow, yeah. That was so good. That we was... couldn't really talk about that because the show was ongoing as they yeah. were serving it, but man, it was like, it was sweet, Definitely it was fluffy, the whipped cream, room. the strawberry filling that they put on, well, not filling, but uh, like the like sauce the, it sits in. It's like the in. puree or something at the bottom. Yeah, it was, it was really good. good. Definitely make that reservation. Come out here and experience it for yourself. Until next time, guys, I'm Tim. I'm Katie. And every night, New adventure. We'll see you again soon. Yahoo!